Hello everyone. In this video, we are starting our new topic digestive system and first we discuss about the function of digestive system and organs. Now we are going to discuss the structure of different organs of digestive system. Okay. Digestive system organs. How digestive system are look like? As I am recalling the functions, physical and chemical breakdown of food into smaller pieces is the main function of digestive system. Next is, it moves digested food from the digestive tract into the circulatory system through the process of absorption. And third is, after complete digestion of food, some undigested food is left. The removal of these undigested food and waste product from the body is the last step of digestion. Okay, now we are going to start the structure. First, the mouth contains teeth which break down food into smaller pieces by chewing which allows food to be swallowed gums teeth tongue lips and different types of teeth i am not going to describe the different types of teeth okay number second is tongue it is a muscle that is used for rolling food around your mouth so your teeth can work best it also helps the food to move towards the esophagus third is salivary gland three main salivary glands deliver saliva into the mouth this fluid helps soften the food. This is the first chemical action along the digestion trail. Petroid glands and submandibular glands help or produce three types of three main salivary glands. Juices, saliva. Epiglottis. This trap door belongs to both respiratory system and the digestive system. This is the opening to the both, okay? Digestive system and respiratory system. When you open your mouth to eat, epiglottis close the respiratory system and you will not inhale through the mouth, but you will inhale through the nose, okay? Understand? It prevents, it also prevents the food and fluid from draining into the lungs. Okay? Now, fifth is esophagus. It is a muscular canal running from pharynx to the stomach that transport food from the mouth to the stomach. Food in the mouth is carried to the esophagus by peristalsis movement. It is a process where muscles contract or relax, contract or expand to push the food through the esophagus to the stomach. This is this movement is called peristalsis movement, like the movement of earthworm. Okay muscular movement now next is stomach stomach produces gastric juice which is called gastric acids in this organ food more break down into tiny pieces second is duodenum number seven the first section of the 22 feet long small intestine 
it is a starting piece of a small intestine which is called duodenum and a small intestine is about 20 feet or 22 feet long tube it is largely responsible for continuing food breakdown process okay and is directly connected to the stomach now next is a small intestine this is small bowel has three main sections duodenum jejum and ileum chim from the stomach empties into the small intestine the small intestine is responsible for most chemical digestion of food all types of chemical digestion are processed in a small intestine okay and after that, absorption of nutrition, including proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates, take place. Means all type of absorption of nutrition from the food to the body is take place is in a small intestine. Nutrients are absorbed into capillaries, and then they are transported to the tissues and organ of the body to support the cell process and provide us energy. I am repeating. Nutrients are absorbed into capillaries. All the nutrition are absorbed into capillaries and then they are transported to the tissues where they are moved to the organs of the body to support the cell process and provide us energy. This is the small intestine and you will see the starting point of the small intestine is the duodenum. Okay. Now, next is gallbladder it is the extra part of digestive system which separated aside a gallbladder stores bile produced by the liver bile juice which is produced by the liver is stores in the gallbladder and in response to the signal when the stomach and digestive system responds to the gallbladder it is squeezed stored bile stored bile juice enters into the small intestine through a series of tubes called ducts which is called bile duct bile help to digest the fat okay now next is pancreas the body's sugar control board pancreas control the body sugar it will provide insulin and glycogen are produces here it secretes digestive enzymes that break down protein fats and carbohydrates okay now this is gallbladder and this is pancreas pancreatic duct gallbladders hepatic duct and others okay now next is liver this is the organ which secretes the bile juice and which is passed along the gallbladder for concentration and storage. Gallbladder make it concentrated and store it for further use in the small intestine. After all the digestion complete, the food enters to the large intestine. The large intestine passes the remaining essential nutrients into the bloodstream. If some nutrition are left, then large in, in instant intestine absorb these into the blood and the storage and the elimination of the waste left over this is large intestine okay now it has different types of colon i am uh, saying in my previous video that large intestine is also known as clone ascending clone transverse clone and descending clone and at starting or ending appendix and rectum now appendix it is to expose white blood cells to the wide variety of antigens of foreign substances present in gastrointestinal tract rectum it stores and releases extra waste food and waste products and stole okay 
this is appendix large intestine small intestine cecum and appendix okay and this is rectum and the uh, external body opening is anus here mouth esophagus is a long tube a stomach and with the stomach there is a liver pancreas gallbladder small intestine large in, in, intestine rectum appendix anus okay thank you